Hi, I'm Jason O'Neill, and welcome to Hoops Factory. TJ Leaf is one of the top prep basketball players in the class of 2016. We were able to catch up with TJ at the 2014 Tarkanian Classic. We were able to talk with TJ regarding his upcoming senior year and a host of other questions. Let's talk with TJ. Jason on the air here for Hoops Factory TV with TJ Leaf of Foothills Christian Basketball Team, one of the top prep basketball players in the class of 2016. TJ, you recently committed to the University of Arizona. What went into that decision? Um, I think a lot went into the decision. Um, I mean, the coaching staff is great there. I have a great relationship with all four of them, not just one or two. Um, their play style is just perfect for me, I feel like. And then uh, I knew I wanted to go, so I didn't want to wait any longer to commit just to get it over with. Yeah, I read recently that the play style really was a big factor and that you like the way that they have stretch fours, guys who step out, Brandon Ashley, even Aaron Gordon would step out a little bit every now and then. Is that something that really factored into your decision? Yeah, I mean, those guys and Derek Williams, too. I mean, he, he was able to shoot a lot of threes under Coach Miller. So, I mean, yeah, that, can't, that was a big factor in my decision to go there. Okay. And I read an article recently that said uh, you were getting some uh, pressure maybe to go to the University of Indiana from your father, who had uh, actually that was his alma mater. Did you get any trouble for choosing Arizona over Indiana? Um, no, I mean, he, he wanted me to go there. I mean, it was a family decision. I mean, he, he let me decide, but I mean, he obviously wanted me to go to Indiana a little bit. I mean, that's where he's from and everything, but Arizona was a good choice. And your dad, it looked like, had played in Indiana in 1979, same time as Isaiah Thomas. Do you give him maybe any extra cachet that, hey, but even when he talks, even though he's your dad, he might actually know what he's talking about? Um, yeah, I mean, sometimes, I mean, as he's my coach, it gets a little frustrating sometimes. But, I mean, he definitely knows what he's talking about, so I listen to him. <laughs> and, and speaking of that kind of relationship, one comparison that I'd heard recently was your game to Doug McDermott, not only in your game, but also that you had your dad as your coach. And we all know that he had had some struggles with his dad and was really kind of ready to move on. Do you feel like you're ready to move on to the next level? Um, I think I am. I mean, college basketball, I'm super excited for it. It's going to be the great experience there is, I think. So, I mean, I'm really excited for it. And the next chapter of my life. And you're really highly rated. I was just wondering, kind of spitballing, if there was no rule that said you had to go to college, how seriously would you entertain going to the NBA? Um, I mean, I really don't know at this point. I mean, it is a rule, so I, I wouldn't even think otherwise. So, I mean, if it was different, maybe I'd think about it, but as of now, I'm just excited for Arizona. 